what you guys have done here in Montreal to take over a major city, a world-class city, and take the center of the town and have the entire city dedicated to jazz. And I do remember when you guys came to see me. And it is amazing. It's a tribute to what it takes to make things happen. You have to have the courage and the guts to do it. And you guys had the courage and the guts to do it. And you gave your lives to it. You have to give your life to these things. You, people think it's easy to do a festival. You just call up and get a few artists and put a stage out and, and make it. It doesn't happen that way. There's thought and structure and organizational abilities. And never mind your own creative genius, which you might have. I mean, you have to have that. And you two guys, not only the fact is, but you worked together without killing each other. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> we didn't know the challenges because we'd never done it before. <laughs> we didn't know what we had to do. Uh, uh, Charlie Bourgeois was here. He was, he was at the very beginning. And we, we were setting up chairs, what we did. Everything was reserved seats in a field that we, we had no stage and no seats. We had to put up a stage. And then we used to number all the seats so it'd sell tickets that matched the numbers on the chairs in the field. I mean, it, it, really, it really was a lot of work that we found out later was totally unnecessary. <laughs> and the rock generation did that for us. We learned from the rock generation, we don't have to sell reserved seats, just put on a great show. People sit in the grass or walk around or stand up and enjoy it. I guess it was a little more comfortable in the old days, but people like it better now, I think. You know? People like Alain Landry and myself, we love the music, and we love the musicians, but they look at us until they get to know us. We're just, quote, I, we, we, we're, we mean only money. We're the payment. We're paying the money. It's very difficult when you start, for, and I'm sure you're the same thing, to reconcile what the musicians think of you. Because you love them, but they don't love you. And you have to earn that love. And the way you earn that love, because I've thought about this, all my life I worked with the toughest people in the business, Thelonious and Miles and, and Mingus, and you know, they were tough people. You have to earn their respect. And the way you earn it is by treating them as professionals. Because they are professionals in their heart. They are people, artists, that are earning their living playing music. 